Hello there. Greetings from University Malaysia Terengganu. This video is intended to enhance the knowledge of PWDs towards a marine environment, as well as to empower ocean-friendly lifestyle among the PWDs. Topics that will be covered in this video are number 1, ocean life, number 2, marine awareness and conservation, and last topic is ocean-friendly lifestyles. We are going to explain in details in next slides. Let's start with topic 1. Ocean life Marine life, sea life, or ocean life is the plants, animals, and other organisms that live in the salt water of the sea or ocean, or the brackish water of coastal estuaries. At a fundamental level, marine life affects the nature of the planet. It is estimated that the number of organisms living in the oceans are approximately 200,000 species. There are so many marine species that can be found in the ocean. Here are some of them. Whales. The whale breathes through the blowhole on its back. Whales live in groups called herds, and the baby whale is called a calf. Turtle. A large marine reptile with a bony or leathery shell and flippers, coming ashore annually on sandy beaches to lay eggs. Jellyfish. The jelly-like creatures pulse along on ocean currents and are abundant in cold and warm ocean water, in deep water, and along coastlines. But despite their name, jellyfish are not actually fish, they are invertebrates, or animals with no backbones. Corals A hard stony substance secreted by certain marine coelenterates as an external skeleton, typically forming large reefs in warm seas. Crab. A crab is a sea creature with a flat round body covered by a shell, and five pairs of legs with large claws on the front pair. Crabs usually move sideways. Starfish. Starfish are echinoderms, spiny skinned sea urchins. They are also known as sea stars and are not really fish despite the name been given to them. Starfish cannot swim, and they do not use gills to breathe. In Topic 2, we will share with you about marine awareness and conservation. Pollution from sewage and agricultural runoff, has contributed to the increasing incidence of low oxygen areas, known as dead zones, where most marine life cannot survive, resulting in the collapse of some ecosystems. Ocean acidification, a result of carbon emissions, is affecting coral reef growth as well as some species' ability to reproduce. It also may threaten plankton species that form the base of the marine food web. Technological changes, new economic opportunities, for example deep sea mining, more intensive fishing, deeper oil and gas drilling, increase risks to areas that historically were not under threat. We are destroying the marine biodiversity, by doing all of these activities including over-exploiting living things, altering the physical environment, polluting the sea, adding substance to the atmosphere, such as increasing ultraviolet radiation and alter the climate. Topic 3, Ocean-Friendly Lifestyle. In this topic, we will let you know what you can do, in order to help reducing ocean pollution. You can start by using reusable bags. Stop wasting so many bags when you go to the store. Recycle anything you can. By doing this, you can prevent trash from ending up in the ocean. Please dispose your refuse properly. If you cannot recycle it, make sure you dispose it in a proper way. When you go to the beach for a picnic or any activities that involving foods, Please make sure you bring back your used food containers and food waste. Lastly, stop using too many plastic straws. Single-use plastic straws are among the top 10 contributors to plastic marine debris across the globe. We are coming to conclusion now. Ocean pollution is a global problem. 
It arises from multiple sources and crosses national boundaries. It is the consequence of reckless, short-sighted, and unsustainable exploitation of the Earth's resources. It endangers marine ecosystems. What will happen if we do not protect the marine environment? Lack of ocean protection will not only accelerate climate change, but it could also impact our resilience to its impacts. Therefore, it is our responsible to protect our ocean and marine life. By protecting the ocean, we are protecting everything that generates half the oxygen we breathe. That's all from us. We hope that you enjoy this video, and have better understanding on this topic. Until we meet again next time. Thank you.